is the definition of art? The definition of art at Poldor Catholic High School? Art at Poldor Catholic High School is a representation of identity. If we go back to the old $20 bill, there was a little saying on the back of the Canadian $20 bill that said, how could we ever know each other in the least without the arts? In other words, the arts help us to identify who we are, help us to understand each other, help us to find a path, help us to create a path. Creativity is really what art is all about. How much art is important to you? <laughs> most of the world probably, or at least at Paul Dwyer, most of Paul Dwyer probably doesn't see it at the same level of importance that I do. Because I get to see it every day. And most of the rest of the school doesn't. But I get to see how it plays an integral part of the identity of the students in my class. They get they get a chance to express who they are. They expect, get a chance to express what they believe. For me, that's, those are some of the most important things that help direct us. Understanding where we are and where we are going. I think art helps to do that. What is your biggest achievement in art? Ah, what is my biggest achievement in art? I think being able to cross over through different art genres um, to see art as um, a language or a vocabulary that I can carry across a lot of different disciplines. I think to be, to, to be a painter is one thing. To be a painter in just watercolor is one thing. But to be a painter in watercolor, acrylic, oil. But then to be able to go three-dimensional into clay, sculpture. But then to be able to take the idea of sculpture and be able to go larger and go into, for instance, dance. As a choreographer, choreographer as a dancer, that is creating sculpture through movement. So I don't really see boundaries in terms of the medium that I'm working in. I see it as an opportunity to take the language of art and be able to take it in many different media directions and different genres. So I think that's, I think, what I would consider a, a huge achievement, being able to keep changing into different media directions and different genres. How did you build up as an artist? I think, I think having an opportunity to draw from a very young age, um, being very interested in drawing at, at a young age, and having the confidence to go ahead and do it. Um, for me, art is a primary form of expression, and most of the art that I do ends up being a strong expression of who I am. So, to build up as an artist is really using who I am as a person and letting that direct where my art will go. So my commitments in art are also a reflection of my commitments in life. Um, I think that my confidence 
in what I think and what I believe and what my goals are um, is a sense of confidence. And if I direct some of that through my art, I think that helps, my art helps me visualize my goals. And as I've been pursuing those goals, step by step, I can see it happening in my art. My art reflects my goals, vice versa. The same thing happens with my students. I see them develop as artists. I also see them developing in their goals and having that sense of confidence. Art helps to provide that confidence. I think having a ch chance to visualize our goals is very important. That helps us give, get the confidence to pursue our goals. So they kind of work together. What techniques do you use in art? What are my favorite techniques in art? Well, I think that in any art form that I approach, if I start with a particular material, I might have some experience with that material, but as I mentioned with creativity, you don't want to be locked in. You want to have opportunity to develop, you want to have opportunity to change. So. I would say that even if I started a piece of work with a favored medium or material, I don't think it's necessary that I stay within a traditional approach or a consistent approach. I can take a new approach, I can influence that material in a new way, or there might be something about my subject matter or something about the material itself that might influence me in a new direction. So. I, I can't really say that I have a favorite medium. I would say that depending on the creative approach that I'm in at the time, the medium might become a consistent approach that I've used before or it might change totally and I might mix another medium into it. So um, I will work in any medium, drawing, painting, printmaking, sculpture, photography, video, and then art form carries over into music, dance, drama, all of those areas for me as well. So I don't really consider one medium to be a specialty when I'm willing to cross over into so many different areas. What advice would you give someone starting art? If someone's just starting out in art, I think the main advice I would give is to be open to inspiration. Don't try to predetermine what your art should look like. Art should be a constantly changing form. So when you start a piece, or when you start a career. That career should go through creative process. Every piece of art should go through creative process. So you need to be open to the resources, to the different influences that might help to direct that art, and you need to be willing to respond to that art as it happens. So as you make a decision in art, see what the result is, but then be willing to keep modifying your path by responding to the art form as it develops. And you should respond to your own skills as they develop. Don't assume that your skills are going to be locked in in one particular mode or in one particular style or in one particular genre. As I said, I've considered all of the arts to sort of cross over each other. So it makes sense that when you're working within a particular art form, it's going to go through different variations. You might try different materials and that prompts you into a new direction and 
you learn something new in that process. So your awareness changes as you try new things, as you do more research. And when you're researching a subject, more information becomes available to you and you're more, you get more awareness in that subject as you become more familiar in your research. So there's always something new that you can bring in. So like a quote that I heard once that every new art form is process of taking what was old and changing it in some way to create something new. So you're always going to have art that went on before and then you're going to make changes to it to develop something new and you do that as an artist as well. Um, what I love about art is having the freedom to express myself and I enjoy having something to slow down time and look inwards and it's fun for me to do.